So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with a special video. The NFL draft is right around the corner a week away. So what we did today, instead of a mock draft, we got pretty much the top 50 prospects. And we're going to be ranking them. Now, if there's not, if there's people that's in your top 50 that's not in this, that's fine. But we're going to be ranking them, getting down to the basis of who is the best prospect in this video. It's going to be like a tier list, more of an uwu. But if you've seen any of my previous videos when we do the uwu, it's like a tournament bracket type deal where we go two people and we get down to who was the better between those two guys. And then we keep going on until there's only one person standing. If you guys do want more videos like this, make sure to like. We right around the corner post-draft. We're going to have a lot of content in store for y'all. So just Stay tuned. Without further ado, man, no more talking. Let's hop into it. Let's go! All right, Malik Neighbors, Jane Daniels. Let me know. It's pretty easy, Malik Neighbors, for sure. You sure? That's pretty easy. It's 100%. Okay. Okay. JD got out in the first round. Talise Fuaga. That's a buy. Yeah, that's a buy. All right. Caleb, bye. All right, it's going to be some buys first round. Okay. Quinion Mitchell or Michael Penis Jr.? Ooh. Penis or Quinion? All right, so how do we figure this one out? Because Definitely Quinion, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit, yeah, all right. I was going to go Quinion. So. You think you think uh, Penix is a top 30 caliber player? If he's healthy, yeah. 100%. But health is a huge thing. That's like what really knock him. I wouldn't be surprised if Michael Penix was like the second best quarterback in this entire draft. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the third best. I'll be very surprised if he's the second, though. Actually, actually, nah, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the second. That's actually, because you know, I've been gassing uh, Michael Penix. I mean, I've, I've, I've been gassing Michael Penix all year. I think he ran a 4 4 6 at his pro day, like. Nah, that pro day. I thought he ran a four five. That's crazy, him running that fast. But he doesn't oh, run. So him, a nigga like him running four five at his pro day it doesn't even really do anything. He doesn't really move. He's a statue. He really yeah, doesn't bro, move. I just, yeah, that's true. But like just having that ability to like, when you escape the pocket, you can actually move. If he had no injury concern, I think he would dare to be the number one pick. Is, I don't really care if he can move vertically. I want to know if he can move horizontally. I don't know if he's a good horizontal reader. That's the difference. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm this gonna, is. Yeah, I will go clean ya. I will go clean ya. Uh, Kool Aid McKinstry, Byron Murphy. I go Byron. Murphy. That's a weird ass better, one. That's a weird one. But That's a very. I, I didn't go Kool Aid. Kool Aid, stupid technical. Uh, he probably the best technical yeah, corner in the draft. I like Kool Aid. Most athletic though. He's like the most athletic. That's my problem. <laughs> no, he's not close he not, to the most athletic. Cool. But yeah, nigga, I'm not gonna lie. Play. Trent McDuffie is crazy technical. That's why he the best. Well, he got some. He got athletic too, though. But yeah. he, he versatile. Think Kool -Aid. I think he, think I think Kool Aid versus too, though. Yeah, he, I think he's more of a slot corner though. Like you got the best defensive tackle in the draft versus the. Is he the fifth best corner in the draft? I think slot corner. Though. Yeah. I think slot corner. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a hot take. I think slot corner is the most important corner on the field. Yeah, I don't agree. I don't agree. All right, bro. Bro, think about where all the best wide receivers line up in the league. Not all the best ones. No, I name one that don't. Uh, well, I mean, are you saying do they do it sometimes or like primarily? Primarily. I don't think Devontae lines up primarily. Devontae, uh, okay, okay. He probably, he don't primarily on the Raiders, but they kind of been trolling him the past two years. Like he should, I ain't gonna lie, but I mean, I, I can see, yeah, he can be in the slot, but okay, that's a, that's a cop out one, I ain't gonna lie. That's a one? top out one. I ain't gonna lie, cause we know. I I I, I ain't gonna lie. You know how I feel about take take and do take and do everything. I ain't gonna lie. Take and do everything. So I give you that. I give I mean, that. All, I mean, I mean, I see what you're saying, cause all of the top ones do be in a slot. I don't. It's like 50 50 though. Like, but you gotta think about it. When, what do what do when you're going against like Jalen Ramsey? What do the top corners do, or wide receivers do? They go to the slot. When they're going against Sauce, what do the top wide receivers do? They go to the slot. It's literally simple, like. Like slot, don't no matter slot where, no matter the where the slot, slot wide receiver is, the slot corner is guarding the slot. If slot was the most important, why aren't they the highest paid? Nigga, I think Trickman Duffy the best corner in the league. So I don't know why they're not the highest paid. Just think about the last past couple years, the best wide receiver seasons we've seen. They've all come from the slot, bro. I don't say they come from the slot. Only one that may not be predominantly the slot is how you feel about Tyreek how he plays. 
But he's all over the field. He moves all over the field. All of these niggas be all over the field. Nah, bro, bro, nah. Cooper yeah, Cup, yeah. Je- Jeff- Jefferson, majority of they snaps Jefferson are in the slot. Like They're a majority in the slot, though. That's what I'm saying. They're majority. I don't think it's majority. It's probably more 50, 40, 60. Nah, it's not no 50, 40, nigga. That shit majority. I mean, 50, 50. 60, 50. The whole, the, um, the triple, you do realize the triple crown Cooper Cup is, was the, the head coach of the Vikings was the OC. He was like the mastermind behind that offense, yeah, right? I know. Okay, I know. so yeah, like, yeah. he literally just has that nigga damn near in that same I role. I just, but for this matchup, would you rather have the number one defensive tackle or the number five? That's why I said it's weird because I think, I, I just said this earlier when we was off the video. I think safeties and linebackers should be valued way more. But I ain't gonna lie, we talking about a slot corner, that's the that's the tough one because slot corners are super valuable now. So I don't know, bro. That's tough. And then when it comes to interior interior rushing is kinda important too. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna get you sacks, he's gonna stop the run. All that. All that. Really I, I think Byron Murphy the best D tackle in the draft too. Yeah. I'll go Byron Murphy. It's just oh, tough. That's different. That's I don't, tough. I don't, I don't know All right, are we talking about? Are we okay? Are we putting value into this, or who's the better prospect? I'm thinking about value. I'm thinking about oh, where yeah. he ranks amongst it. Yeah, I'm thinking about where he that. ranks amongst his position group. He's like fifth in his position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, like I'm gonna let you decide on this one. I can't really tell. I'm gonna go Byron. I'm gonna go Byron. Man. I can't really tell on that one. That's too close. That's too. That's too hard. Tavon J. Sweat. You got Tavon J. Sweat on here for. It's only 44 prospects. Yeah, man. You think he top fifty uh, prospects? No, but I wasn't putting like all the. Oh, okay, right okay, there. I see what you're saying. Okay, Jalen Wright or Xavier Worthy? Oh, uh, I go with Worthy. That's speed. I like Wright, but I do too. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I'm thinking Worthy might be. I, I thought Worthy oh, was. I not... thought Worthy was gonna be overrated because I thought he was way slower than people thought. That nigga yeah, broke the record. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about Worthy. I still like ever since that. I'm still kind of mind blown. Better than John Ross. He bought He's way no. Ross. I'm saying like I thought he was like a. I thought he was like a, a run after catch route running guy that was not as he was like his film make him look faster than what he is. He's not as fast as what people think, but he's way faster than what people think actually in reality. Like I had it all wrong. I literally had it all wrong. So I think he could be like a really like a really underrated prospect. Lad McConkey or Xavier Leggett. People have been trying to gas Leggett. I ain't gonna lie, Leggett, I like Leggett. Leggett is nice, but I like McConkey more. Yeah, I, I value the slot more anyway. Yeah. But I think McConkey can play a little bit more in and out too. You're gonna be one of them niggas that you look back like, damn, he was the sixth best receiver. I think they're gonna do that for both of them, to be honest. Yeah, bro, yeah, probably. Probably. I think I think uh I think Leggett and uh what's his name? From Texas. What's the other privacy from Texas? I think they're a lot closer uh, than people act like. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think AD and uh, Leggett are closer than people uh, act like to me. Yeah. I think they yeah. both could be really good, though. Mm-hmm. But this one, you don't really got to ask me. You already know how you... I have no clue. Bro, bro, come on, bro. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, Cooper DeGene is the epitome of what I was describing when I was talking about Kool-Aid uh, McKinstry. You this know, guy can play outside. He can play the slot. He can put. You can put him at safety. He can play zone. Yeah, he can play man. He can get up there and tackle. He athletically gifted. He's technically sound. Like bro, I'm gonna be honest. You can't tell me that's not more valuable than a tight end. You can't tell me. Tight end. He's not a tight end. I think he is gonna play a little bit more slot in the league. He is a pass catcher. He's a pass catcher. But he's a good run blocker too. That's how. Yeah, I mean, he could do it all, bro. Like, this dude, that nigga different. Okay, I, all right. Best, I, 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 do think, I do think Brock Power is a better prospect. But if we bring him value into it, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, he, he ah, see, I don't, don't know. Nah, I disagree. I think, I think, I think, hey, you know how I feel about tight ends compared to wide receivers. I think tight ends are more important than wide receivers. Because they can do more. They do more, in my opinion. Hey, it depends on the kind of receiver you are. If you're a pass blocking receiver, you could be, you know. Pass blocking receiver. All right, nigga. Like a receiver that can pass block. Kinda what the fuck is the point of a receiver pass blocking? Pa- you mean run blocking? Yeah. Let's, yeah. That's it, okay, bro. so you think Mike Evans is the best wide receiver in the league? Like, what the fuck? Nobody no, give a no, fuck no. about a wide receiver pa- run blocking unless it's like Cooper Cup or something. Okay, okay. Like, Devontae Adams ain't no crazy run blocker. Justin Jefferson ain't no crazy run blocker. Tyreek ain't no crazy run blocker. I think that's like that adds to a wide receiver, but like I don't think people care about run blocking for wide receivers as much as tight ends, personally. Yeah. 
You love Bucky Irving. I'm going AD. I'm going AD too, though. Okay. Yeah. I I didn't know how much you loved Bucky, but you think he like the best running back. I just, I'm a big fan of that nigga. I don't know. Shit. Really hating on my nigga Bucky. I don't even know what you even really see on, bro. To be honest. This other nigga fucking caught Carter, like, maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm a little blind. Hey, Brayden Fisk? Hey. Hey, man. Hey. Yeah, it's only 44 out of 64. These some good pictures. You got some solid pictures for these guys. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I try to, I try to get some nice pictures. Jerryverse, right? Jerryverse. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All due respect to Keon. I was listening to somebody break down like the importance of pass rushing and it being able to be a power rusher too. I ain't gonna lie, he was making a lot of sense. Because a lot of the guys that's like physically like capable. Like physically, like speed, they can just get around people. What happens when you go against an like, uh, offensive lineman that's that can stop that? Like when you have like to Chop. be able to have power. Like Chop Robinson. Not nah, Chop Rob. Oh, you saying like where he's only f- speed? Yeah. Yeah. So like, I ain't gonna lie. I got you. I got you. He kind of moving me a little bit in that Jerry verse versus Dallas Turner combo a little bit because I ain't gonna lie. Because Dallas Jared Turner Jared don't got the power Jared. nowhere near verse. Yeah, this man fucking God. I should put more niggas. I don't put a lot of niggas in there. Wow. 44 ain't that yeah. many. It, it, it's not as many as you would think. This is Marvin, yeah, Marv, Marv, right? Yeah, yeah, I ain't want Olu to go out so far. I thought Olu was more athletic than he was. I'm yeah, going Latu. Okay. Latu. Okay. All right, let me. All right, before we go too deep, in terms of your value, what's your top three valuable positions? Top three? Uh, quarterback, yeah. number one. Okay. Uh, number two, edge rusher. Okay. Uh, number three is probably the tackle, left tackle. Okay, okay, all right, yeah, okay. So I just want to make sure that we got some type of consistency there. Okay, yeah. who's... I'm, I'm going for Tanu. Yeah, I'm going for Tanu. I think Latham... Uh, what the, what's his name? Latham and uh, Mims, those guys have crazy upsides, but I'm kind of scared of them. If my team picked them. Scared of, what you scared about? Because they, I feel like they could be bust. Mm, okay. Wait, uh, so... Oh, this is the tight end. Yeah, I'm gonna go Johnny Green. Hey, this dude actually seemed like he could be nice though. J- uh, Jatavion yeah, Sanders. He yeah, he I don't know a lot about Jazan Newton, bro. I've been seeing him get gas. I don't, I don't know yeah, what he I'm. Decent. He, he a beast. He a All right, beast. who, who you going with here? Yeah, you're gonna ask me about this one. Hey, did neighbors actually run a four five? I seen people running, running with yeah, that. That nigga ran a four three nine. I thought it was like a four three eight, but people are saying that they missed clocked it. So they saying it was really they like they, they it was actually a four five. Uh, no, no, there's no way you miss caught this goddamn hard. That's a crazy, that's a crazy miss caught. That's a crazy miss caught. I mean, but it's not really that crazy. It's only point one seconds. Cause you know they did four, they three, did nine, it's, four, the four five? the four three eight is a human. That's you know crazy. when they do it at the pro days, they do it based off human times, stopwatches. Yeah. So it's like I don't think it's that crazy. Nah, he ran fast. He looked fast to me. They trying to say that he they started to stop watch late. That's what they was trying to say. I didn't so. see that. I didn't see that though. But we know that nigga nasty, so I don't really care. But I think it's really the, you know how people was trying to push that neighbors was better than Marv. A lot of people was mad at that shit. I don't know why the nigga is right there with that nigga. Why it's just the same thing as a lot of people being mad. It's a lot of people that was getting mad at that Drake May shit going low over uh what's his name JJ McCarthy. Nah JJ McCarthy. People was really mad over that shit. Especially when Chris Sims did it. It was really Chris Sims. It was Chris Sims. Chris Sims did the wide receiver list, and then he did the uh, quarterback list. People was mad at both of them. Because he always, yeah, like, he, they were saying he's doing that he shit for clicks right, or something. He right, like, 60% of them. Oh, I mean, come on, bro. I ain't, I'm not a lie. I actually messed with J.J. You ain't put J.J. McCarthy on here. I just peeped that. I do. I, do. I, mean, I swear I didn't see J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, the vibe. Okay, yeah, okay. Vibe. Jared versus Lad. Uh, Jared Burns, bro. I'm gonna be Lad, honest. Man. I'm gonna be honest. I think yeah, Lad's gonna be better. Guy. Okay, so I just want. Okay, I'm trying to think of a a a, a, okay, a pass so rusher that? that's equivalent to Jared Wirt verse. I really it's think Lad good. got a B potential. I saw, somebody, I saw somebody compare him. I don't know if it was him or uh, Dallas. Somebody compared that nigga to uh, Whitney Merciless. I like what I like that comparison. Like See, that comparison. yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I know Whitney Merciless. He was always underrated, but I don't I ain't gonna lie. I've never like I mean, I've never like Merciless? paid enough attention to Whitney Merciless. I just know he was a, he's had a consistent career where he was getting ten plus sacks multiple seasons. That's all I know I about him. About, I think about Lad McCarthy, right? He's the best route runner, right? Arguably, 
But I know he played at Georgia, but that nigga, he ain't got a lot of production. He don't got no one thousand yards receive, receiving seasons. He got zero. For them. I'm gonna be honest. That don't really matter to me. The only issue with me for Lad is injuries. That's it. Uh, he's been injured. Right? Yeah, he has injury concerns, especially with his frame and oh, stuff that's like the that. Case. Yeah, he's not like Penix injuries though. It's not like to that level. It's like he's 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 not like playing a complete season. I don't know if he's played a complete season in in college. Okay. He missed like a couple games, I believe. Yeah, I like Lad. I like Lad, but it's kind of like my 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 logic is Edge is a little bit more valuable. Edge it's yeah, right that's the thing. Edge is how much does the value make up for the prospect? Because I think Lad is actually like A B potential. A B, A B, like, like A B, like Antonio Brown or like. Yeah, AB, like, I see more A B than people. I don't get the cup comparisons. A, I see way more A B than them, way more. Yeah, just be disrespected A B, eh? Yeah. You better watch the tape, man. You can't press lad. Like he, he can kill you on point. any route. He got deceptive speed. He's way faster than you think. Like he yeah. remind me of A B way more Ooh, than. Uh, I had my number six receiver. So six? Thinking. See, that's what I'm saying. That's disrespect, in my opinion. How disrespectful? He's can, clear the fourth best wide receiver, in my opinion. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me tell you my list and tell me who he's better than. All right, number one, I got... But we doing it. We got the players on here. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't, don't right. spoil. You know what I'm saying? Don't spoil. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right but I'm going to go first because of the positional value. And for me, yeah, positional value. number six receiver and versus my number two edge. But how many wide receivers do you have over verse? How many receivers? Yeah, how many of those wide receivers that you have over lad over verse? The, how many how many receivers I Just got how over many, lad? yeah. How many? The number. Five. Exactly. No, I'm saying how many receivers do you have over verse? Those you over have verse? five receivers over I got, Yeah, oh. yeah, I got three over verse. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. See I got I got I probably got five. And I got Vlad at four. Oh, yeah. You got verse low. No, I nigga, this rod right receiver draft is crazy. It is crazy. Dude. It's a crazy rod right receiver draft. I think Verse is gonna be like uh gonna be like one of them niggas that just in the league for a long time, just dominating in the league. No, I do I do think do too, but I, I think I, I got I got high expectation for at least five of these rod right receivers. Five of Me them. Me too. I like I got five, guys. I got star it's potential much. in five guys in wide receiver. I'm not gonna lie. I got star potential in five guys too, but I got star potential in verse too. No, I got star. I, I don't know about star with verse. That's the thing. You know about star? I think his floor is the, the highest. Of, I think if his floor comes, is the highest out of all the pass rushers. But star, I don't know. Bears, if he comes to the Bears, play with my cash sweat. Yeah, I don't think he's a star in the Bears. That's what I'm saying. I think he is. I think he is. I think, I think he'll be good, good, like really good. But I, I don't think he's a superstar. Like he's not. Bro, there's no way he's Michael Parsons. Like he's not on those guys' level. What you think? That's a superstar. I think, bro. I think he's AB. Nigga, AB was arguably the best wide receiver for five plus years. Yeah. Put a lot on that nigga. I really have him as star potential, bro. I really do. Well, if we can't come to the, I'll let you get the first tiebreaker. You know, I, I like verse. I will go verse, but you know, if you want to use yeah. a tiebreaker on this one. I ain't mad at it. All right, chat. Y'all, y'all can just choose. Y'all can choose. Y'all can choose. I'll yeah, chat yeah. choose this one. How many niggas in the chat? Ten. Are they dead ass? Yeah. You want know, Twitch or kick? Kick. Give me verse. Verse death. All right. I kind of figured. I had to fight for my nigga. Uh, I, don't lad, think, I don't think they know a lot about kick, to be fair. I mean, uh, fucking um, Akanti. Maybe not. I, don't think not I know one of them is a uh, Georgia fan. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Fuaga and I AD. I'm gonna go Fuaga to Lee. I'll go to Lee Fuaga. Yeah, I do value offensive over, over tackle. He is I like how versatile forward. he is at like the positions he can play too. I like that. Yeah. Because even if he's not gonna I, work pan out at tackle, he can go to the other I side. Can see, he can I, go guard. I can see, I'm not gonna say he is a bust, but I can see him being. Uh, I ain't gonna say that shit. I ain't gonna say that. Shit. Nah, I like AD. I like you know. I like AD. I think AD like. I ain't gonna lie, AD's not in my top five, but I think he has star potential. He ain't my top five, shit. He ain't my top five. He not in my. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, hold on, I got he's your top five. Nigga, you already know if if you know Lad's in my top five, he's not in my top five. AD's not in my top I know, five. I know the rest. I know the rest. Yeah, so you, the rest is obvious. Well, I, I, had, 
I had lad I had lad and AD switched up for the longest. Then I then I switched. Up. Like I said, I think AD and um I think AD and Leggett are closer than people at the. Mm. I I like I like both of them though. I like both of them. I like both of them. But I go Fuaga. I think Fuaga is a top ten. No, I won't be mad if you go to the Bears. I won't be mad if you go to the Bears. All right, all right, all right. All right. Tyrion Arnold or Blake Corum? I'm a little confused by the Tyrion Arnold stuff, bro. But I'm gonna go with him. Nah, I, love, uh, I love me some Tyrion Arnold. I ain't gonna lie, he got some good feet. Good. Yeah, he good. looks quick. He looks very quick. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, agile, he, good change of direction. He's like a like slot that. corner, though. You see, he likes slot corners. So yeah. yeah, he look a little smaller. That's why I'm confused because I feel like they're trying to say that he can play outside, but he looks literally like a slot. Like a lot of these corners in this draft look like slot corners, except for Nate Wiggins, really. Yeah, but I, I like think even class. he may have to play last slot. Year's class better. Last year's class was way better. I mean, come way on, bro. Better. Come on, bro. They got. I'm gonna be hey, honest. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. Is it really way better? You had Christian Gonzalez. You had. Don't say uh, Stevenson Witherspoon. because he wasn't even a high projected pick. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You had, you had, you had Witherspoon. You had. That's Gonzalez. it, and then hey, and hey, Banks. Had, that's it. Banks. That's it, though. Yeah. Bro, it's like you five guys yeah. that could go in the first round this year. Yeah, but them niggas not really that. I don't see none of them besides Quinion Mitchell is number one. Quinn. I like I like Quinion, Nate Wiggins. I like um I like McKinstry and I like um what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Flawa the Gene. I think he's getting underrated. Bro, he can play safety. I don't care, bro. Remember, do not forget. Do not forget. Minka Fitzpatrick got drafted to be a corner. He failed with the Dolphins. He got traded to the Steelers. They put him at safety. He became one of the best safeties in the league, man. So I don't know what's going on. JPJ or yeah, Chop? Bro. I'm going JPJ. This is closer than a lot of people are giving this shit credit for. Shit. I got JPJ. He's the best center in the JPG. draft. Yeah, yeah, but it's similar value. Like yeah, that. center is super. I think center is the most underrated position on the field because I don't think people know this, but centers, they actually call out coverages and stuff like that. They, no, we all know that. They got to shift the offensive line. line. I ain't going to lie. That's they pretty they important. Like, if you got to... What'd you say, LeBron? I said everybody that watches football knows that. Okay. Knows. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't learned that until yeah, like I, I ain't learned that until like off season last year. I'm gonna lie. Wait, that ass? Yeah, because I always was a Brady fan, Peyton Manning. I grew up all these niggas calling that shit the line. So these niggas having centers calling that shit, I swear I didn't know that. I swear I didn't know that shit. Interesting, interesting. Man, I like Chop, bro. Like Chop is underrated, bro. I think Chop is a... Uh, I don't think he's the most athletic, but like he's he's one of these freak yeah, athletes that's like he's gonna get picked and he's gonna go to a team and he's gonna have a really high floor because he can get you he can get he can get like ten sacks every year off his speed alone probably in the league. Okay, I know how I'm gonna do this one because Chop isn't like even in my top four pass rushers. He might be in my top. You, four. I, I found I found a dude that's low key solid. And people been comparing to TJ Watt. I'm gonna be honest, that nigga is nice. Mm-hmm. I thought they was chatting, but I ain't gonna lie. You watch him, his mannerisms, his feet, his arm about. movement. Like I don't know what his name is. He, I think he went to middle. It went to like a random ass school, bro. Is it Ellis? Yeah, I think it is Ellis. I think it is Ellis. That, I think it is Ellis. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I seen three different people talk about him. And I was like, bro, where did he even come from? I ain't even heard of him. I looked at some of his stuff, bro. He got so many similar uh, similarities to um, T.J. Watt. It's actually, I can see why they said that. I don't think he's going to be as good as T.J. Watt, though. But I can see why they said it. Uh, but Chop, okay, so how I'm going to do this is, because Chop is in my top edge. He does have some of the highest upside in the draft. He is small, but he has higher bust potential than JPG for sure. JP, JPJ. I think JP, JPJ is going to be like a 10 12 year starter. So I think JPJ is one of the more auto draft. picks for their position in the draft. Yeah. It doesn't really match my positional value, but I'll go JPJ. Yeah, I'll go JPJ. I'll go JPJ. I think obviously pass rush is more important, but yeah. come on, Prospect got to eventually matter at some point. Rome versus yeah. Tavondre. That's wrong. That's wrong. Lot to a Brayden Fisk. I know you're gonna fucking vouch for this Brayden Fisk. Nigga. Nah, I I'll probably go Lot to. I'll go Lot to. Ah, yeah, I know Lot to is gonna be big. I thought you were gonna vouch for that nigga though. Vouch who? Fisk. I mean, Brayden Fisk is a monster, but 
I'm going against Latu. Okay. Right, There's yeah. not really I much to do there. It's not really much to do there on that one. If it was like La- if it was Fish versus Murphy, I would have probably fought harder. But Murphy probably still it's win a that. Weird one, bro. It's a weird one. It's a weird one. This is the weirdest one. This is probably the weirdest one. I think JJ McCarthy is actually underrated, man. Uh, no, he, wait, hold on. First of all, you was calling that guy. You said that nigga was overrated. Well, that nigga underrated. Nigga, he is getting overrated. I think me and you underrated him. <laughs> no, I like JJ McCarthy. I just think he's one of the fucking worst out of the top six. Like, I'm not going to lie. JJ McCarthy is, like, really weird. It's either, like, this is what I'm trying to say. Either he gets stupid overrated or he gets stupid underrated. It's like he's somewhere in that yeah. middle. He's somewhere in that middle it's of how hard. the two people contrast. It's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to evaluate him because he doesn't have a lot of production. It's either him. people don't have him in the top five or people have him top three. He's not top three. Not I can see it. I'm going to be honest. I can see it. Uh, I, I, I need more production. I can see it more so than him not being top five. Actually, I nah. I can see both. I can really see both because Penix and uh, Knicks, I like <laughs> those two guys too. But I think McCarthy... It's better than Knicks. I think it's close between him and Penix. It's the thing with Penix is injuries, though. That's the thing with him. Yeah. But versus Byron Murphy, see if this was Brayden Fisk, I would have been caping. But versus Byron Murphy, that's a tough one, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know, bro, because these like they both kind of like. How do you even compare this? It's weird. Quarterback is so much more valuable than like a defensive tackle, though. I'm not gonna lie. It is, but like, okay, let me put it like this: Who's gonna be the who? Who you think has a higher chance of being a bust? Like, do you think? Brian I don't know enough about Byron Murphy to say how much higher of a chance he has than JJ McCarthy. I think JJ McCarthy, like, it depends on what you think a bust is for JJ McCarthy. I think he's gonna like, be okay. He's either a backup or a starting ball. caliber quarterback. I don't think he's like. I don't think he's gonna be like an elite quarterback. But you don't, you don't ever see him being like a. Like a top fifteen quarterback in the league. Like if you're telling me like if 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 JJ McCarthy doesn't become Dak Prescott, he's a bust. Then yeah, I, I don't yeah he's he's, he's, he's most likely he's yeah he's definitely he's yeah there's definitely JJ McCarthy. Is definitely JJ McCarthy? That's what I'm saying. Like if you're saying JJ McCarthy, if he doesn't become Dak Prescott, if that makes him a bust, then it's definitely JJ McCarthy. That's what I'm saying. It depends on like what are you trying to say he's gonna be. Like what's a bust to you like- for him? Do you think he'll be like a Kirk Cousins type? Like See, yeah, guy? I'm not. Nah, nah, like, I'm saying, like, that's really, that's like his hub size for me. I think he's, like, going to be Brock Purdy, Dak Prescott, Kirk Cousins, Jared Goff. He's in that realm of quarterbacks. That's his potential. Like that's his, like that's as high as I can see him going. I just don't see. I haven't seen enough of him passing the football, bro. I just haven't seen it. I think, his, I think he's underrated as a runner and thrower. He's not underrated as a runner. Everybody knows he can run. Everybody knows he can run. I just know I haven't seen him be able to pass. That's You'd be surprised, but I, I seen know. people. I, I seen people say that uh, Drake May and JJ McCarthy can't move at all. I don't know who they ain't watching no type of tape. I so, yeah, I've seen. I've seen. That's, that's I seen people say. I really love I've I've seen people say that like JD he makes like he, what is what is it? Bro says something like outrageous. He said JD and Penix are way better movers than McCarthy and May nah, that or something like that. He just looked at the skin tone and was like, yeah, they yeah, black. Yeah, yeah, that was, I was just about to say that. That was the, the skin tone. But, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Bro, J.J. McCarthy on the Vikings? Yeah, if he goes to the Vikings, yeah, that's decent. That's if he goes crazy. to the Broncos or some shit. Like Broncos, I like that, too. I like him on the Broncos and the Vikings. I like both I of those. Know, I like the coach, but I don't like the receivers. It's just the like, system, I'm saying, like, I'm not even looking at the, oh, well, yeah, Vikings receivers are crazy. But I'm saying he goes into those systems, I think that really fits his play style. The Raiders, I don't like. I don't like for him. I don't like that at all. Bro, I don't, bro, I don't like that at all for him. You know, because, like, Tay is going to be good, but he's going to have, bro, I don't think you understand, man. He's going to have to go against Justin Herbert and Mahomes twice a year. And then you got to think about it. The Raiders, like, their coach, they will get rid of, if you're a bad at quarterback, they will get rid of you in an instant. Listen, the Raiders beat the Chiefs for that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, it's going to be way more pressure on him if he goes to the Raiders than if he went to the Broncos and the Vikings, in my opinion. Because I think it would be harder for him, though. I think it would be much harder for him in those teams than it would be on the Broncos. And the... No. But I didn't like their scheme after the fact. 
it was better than what it was, but I, it's not it's not like nowhere near the Vikings. I don't think the Broncos well, scheme is crazy either though. Well, this one though, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with the blue. I think they have some less plus potential. I think Byron looks at it. But the thing is, what is what is what is Byron Murphy's like what does it take for him to be a bus? What does it take him to be a bus? Like you just have to be just like not good. I don't know, I don't know how to, like you have to just be like just irrelevant. See, yeah, that's not fair, though. That means J.J. McCarthy just a much better prospect at that point, and his position is way more valuable. If J.J. McCarthy to be a bust is not being Dak Prescott and Byron Murphy to be a bust is just him being not good, that's like that just means J.J. McCarthy is a better prospect and he has a, his position is way more important. Yeah, of course. Quarterback is the most important. So, yeah, it should be J.J. McCarthy then. That's not fair. No, I don't, I don't like him as much. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, we, yeah, we both... We both are we're we're both saying that JJ McCarthy has potential to be in the same room. You said Kirk Cousins, I said around Dak Prescott area. Okay, this is how I do it. Byron Murphy is higher on my board, so I go with Byron Murphy based on that. Okay. I don't think he has higher potential. I think he can have more all pros and shit like that over JJ McCarthy. I play like that. Okay. I play like that. Okay. So you're saying he can be the right team. I'm trying to think of the D tackles that's in the league now. He probably can. Yeah, Jeffrey Simmons. Jeffrey Simmons. Oh, you talking about? Okay, okay, okay. I'm thinking of Isaiah Simmons. I'm tripping. I'm th- you talking about bro on the uh, Titans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. T- Quinn yeah, Mitchell, Qu- yeah. Nate Wiggins. I like, I like Nate. I ain't gonna lie. I like Nate too, but I like Nate a lot, bro. I think Quinn Young can play inside and outside, and he's gonna be more so on the outside. But you know how I feel. I feel. I like the. In- I like the inside guys. Nate Wiggins is too small for me. Yeah, but that's why I think he's gonna be in the slot. Yeah, I value outside corners more. Yeah, that's what he I'm saying. Who? I know he is. Nate was my number one. It's either him or uh, DeGene. It's either him or Cooper. I think I mean, I mean, Quinn got more. I, he, I got Quinn at third, so though. He was just so good at man coverage, bro. Nah, facts. I like him. Yeah. You put him on the island, though, man. Okay. The thing is, he does fall over a lot. Okay, we need tiebreaker chat. Who y'all got? Which one? Nate Wiggins or Quinn Young? <coughs> do uh do, don't Quinn Young got like crazy long arms? This ain't yeah. Quinn Young. And he ran a four three. I mean, Nate Wiggins ran like a 4 2. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't bring in a speed because I don't really think 40 times matter as much as people act like for corners. It definitely matters for corners, though. Not for corners, in my opinion. I think, like, the agility tests are way more important for corners. Because, like, think about it. Like, think about the past couple of fat, the best, like, corners in the league. Yeah, fast. Richard Sherman was not fast. How fast was Sauce, Sauce Gardner? I thought he was like 4 5. I think I think Jalen Ramsey did run like a four three four four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man corners that are just bad to go for. I don't know. I don't know. He yeah, he was his own for sure. That's why I said I don't know. I don't really know like how important that shutdown. Yeah. How good is Quinn Young in zone? I don't know how good Nate Ribbons is in zones. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. I ain't gonna lie. It don't even matter. I don't even know how good zone Nate Wiggins is. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Brian Thomas or Troy Fatanu? I think Brian Thomas. Uh, Victor Lewis or Troy Fatanu? I do. But you know how much I love Brian Thomas. I love Brian Thomas. I definitely like tackles. I thought tackles more important than receiver. Who? I bet you said tackle was more important than receiver, right? It is, but I got Brian Thomas top 10 prospect. Damn, nigga. I got him in my top three wide receivers. Yeah, he in my top four. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I go Brian Thomas, though. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, man. Hey, while you playing Lad Dinner in that top 10, too? While you playing? I got to think about that shit, though, for Lad. Ain't gonna lie. Troy Franklin or Bro- Brock Bowers? Troy Franklin not in my top ten, bro. He not in my top ten. Rod receivers? Yep. Let me think about it. Ricky Pearson. I, I had another nigga. I didn't put him on this. Xavier. Wor- I think him and Xavier were they around the same area? For me. Nah, 
Because after Ricky Pearsall, that's seven. Oh no, that's eight. Ricky Pearsall will be eight. It's either him or it's either him or Xavier Worthy at ten. Who is who's the ninth and tenth for you? I like Jermaine Burton. So. Okay, I like him. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I look I look at love me some Roman. Roman, oh, Roman, oh, I forgot. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, it's understandable, then. Him not being top 10 is understandable. That's actually understandable. I forgot about Roman. Yeah, Roman probably right behind Ricky Pearsall for me, then. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he's way faster than Amar Ra, but go crazy. But yeah, Brock Bowers, right? Okay. Bo Nix, Marvin, Mar, come on, man. No brain, wasting time. Drake May or Dallas Turner? I'm going Drake. And I got and I got Dallas Turner top three prospects. I got I got I got Dallas Turner top three prospects for me. Drake made top two. Dallas Turner he top Drake three. Is my second Drake May is my first ranked quarterback. So it's been like that too. So you can't even say that's biased. I will go down a Turner. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie. To you. I feel like I got him. I, I got. I got. This is my one in three uh, prospects. Drake May. I, just, I don't know about this nigga, man. He's so confusing, bro. Because he has everything that you want. So I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I think everything that comes from like the inconsistencies that I was talking about. I think it's just his footwork. To be honest with you. That is. That's a big thing, bro. That's it's the easiest thing like, to fix. His footwork. I don't, like his, I don't like his throwing motion either. Like, I don't like it. His throwing motion is a little slow, but he gets the ball out fast. You know, then I'm looking at his competition he played, and he struggled in, in, in the ACC. And I'm thinking about his consistency. Uh, I got me. I got May at one, nigga. You can do all this shit you I want. Just, I, I got I, Turner I, at three prospect. I got May at one, nigga. You can do all like this you May, want. So May, you know why you like May? Because he's 6'4". He really like Justin Herbert. Take I ain't going to lie. If you want to say he, he remind me of Justin Herbert, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, I'm not mad at exactly right, right. He remind me of Ju- he remind me of he got like similarities of Justin Herbert and Josh Allen, this. but I wouldn't. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. He remind me of Jordan Love than both of them, though. To be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this though. Ask you this. I know this is a crazy thing because it's a part of his game, right? It's a, it's part of his body. But if you was the same height as Caleb, would you be as high as him? Oh, him as you are. If he played the exact same way. If he was the same height. As him. I'm saying if he played the same way though. He play the same way he play right now. Yeah, you would still like him. No, I'm saying, what if is he the does he play the same way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, same probably way not. Player. Probably not, bro. Because he, he play, play he play too reckless. When he runs, he like tries to run over niggas and shit. If he's Caleb height, he's getting injured way more. Caleb, Caleb don't get hurt though. Nigga, I'm saying, bro. Caleb don't play like Drake May. Drake May literally be trying to truck oh, niggas and shit, stiff arm niggas and shit. Nigga, Nigga, I'm not saying he does it ever, but I'm talking about Caleb actually can be elusive. May doesn't try to be elusive. Like, he'll be in a pocket. He'll, like, literally do a left-handed pass and take a a hit for no reason. He could have got the ball out earlier. He'll take, he'll, like, hold the ball on a little bit longer to let his wide receiver get open to be a threat as a runner. And he'll take that hit just to make sure it's a guaranteed TD. He'll literally do that. What's the correlation of him being inches shorter to him being injured more than that? Oh, I thought you said size. So it's just the height? He still keeps the weight? Yeah, he's, he's not, yeah he keeps the weight. Oh, well, no, I'm not tripping there. I'm not tripping there. Nigga, they said Caleb, what, they said Caleb like 6'1", 6'2". I thought Caleb was way shorter than that. No. So I don't think Caleb niggas, he's, 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 he's the same height as Aaron Rodgers. Man. I think. Aaron Rodgers is 6'1"? Yeah. Is he actually 6'1"? He's 6'1", 6'2", yeah. You know no, I ain't gonna lie. I, I I I thought Caleb was way shorter than that, but my main issue wasn't really over his height. It, my main issue was like the heroism and like his decision making and holding on the ball too long. That was my main thing. No, I'm not. I never said he don't. I never said he don't. That was his main thing. I thought he was inconsistent and made bad decisions. But I think it's really like with, with May, he can fix the footwork. Um, he just need more structure. I like Dallas Turner more because I'm thinking of bro. Like, I think I like the I like the potential. Like, I can see all pro. I can see I can see pro bowls. I can see all that in this nigga. But I can't really say for sure that May is gonna be all pro. 
Like, it's way harder to be all pro at QB than it is at any other position. That's true. That's it's true. only two yeah. QB slots. It's like five or six pass rushing slots, bro. Yeah, that's true. But if he's the face of the future of the league, how would you would? Nigga, he's not the face of the future of the league. My, Patrick Mahomes, bro, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, I don't think any of these quarterbacks are t- passing either one of those guys. I mean, Caleb, I mean, Patrick Mahomes is almost 30. I mean, I'm talking about, like, the future. I'm talking about, like, Hey, T J B, bro, we're not finna act like QBs don't play well into their 30s, bro. We're not doing that. I know, I know. I'm saying, like, these guys are the face of the future. I'm thinking about the future, man. I ain't talking about, like, right now. Okay. Okay. What are you, okay? What is your what is your what is your uh potential for May and Dallas Turner? You know how I feel about I Dallas May, Turner. I think you're gonna be May, like a, a off brand Micah. I think May on the high end. On the high end, I think it's gonna be like. I think it's gonna be like. Let me try to think of something. It's gonna be like a retarded Justin Herbert. Yeah, like um, give me yeah. who you would think if he's not this, he's a bust. Yeah. Like we did with um. If, if, okay, if Jake May isn't Jordan Love like right now. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's where I was going. I was thinking like if May is not around, Jordan Love, C.J. Stroud. Yeah, he need to be in that level. Yeah, he's a bust. Dallas Turner. To me, I, I see Micah Parsons. I see, I see Will Anderson. I see, I see that in his future. Uh, yeah, I look at. I think Dallas Turner is the off-brand Micah, but I don't know who the fuck that is in the league. Like, where is that? Where would that even be at? Uh, what pl- be what pass rusher is that? That might be that might be Will Anderson. Nah, Will Anderson yeah. not as good as that. That's better than Will Anderson. Uh, um, I'm trying to. Turner. You got to in the chat. You got to in the chat. You got to Chat. Who y'all got? Dallas Turner or Drake May? I think they are gonna say Dallas, Dallas Turner. Turner on that board. Yeah, I, board, I got May at one and Dallas Turner at three. I've been gassing Dallas Turner since the first mop. So. Dallas. 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 Yeah. It's a good fight, though, man. Good fight, May. Man, I tried, bro. I tried, May. I tried, May. Wilson or Joe Alt? Trey Benson or Jazan? I don't even fight for Benson, though. No, I don't really know that much about Jazan. I just know Benson, in my opinion, is the best running back. I don't know enough about Jazan. So if you pick, if you think Jazan better, I mean, I'm not tripping. Yeah, I think he's a good all around. Aaron is six two. Aaron Rodgers six two. Hmm. I never even thought of Aaron Rodgers being kind of like smaller. I think, I think, uh. I think Lamar like six one, six two, six three, one of them. Yeah, I told you about that nigga. Man. He doesn't look as like big as him. That nigga look like six one, six two. Okay, you said Jazan, right? Yeah. Okay. Malik neighbors, Jazan, Malik. Who you think is my number two prospect? Neighbors. Joe Alt or Terry on. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. My two, three, and four are actually super close. Yeah, I know. Last time when we did a mock, I think Dallas was my number two. But he's three yeah. now. You'd probably be surprised if my number two is. Uh, Joe Alt or Terry Alda? Joe Alt. Unless Caleb was number two. I don't know how you feel about Brian that. Thomas or Dallas Turner? I'm going Dallas Turner. Talise Fuaga or Jared Verse? Fuaga. This is a match. This is a Oh. I don't have Verse as a top 15 wow. prospect. You got Fuaga top 15? I got Fuaga damn near 10. Damn. Besides, all, he might, I think he the second best offensive lineman. I like Futanu. If you're talking about Olu, I like I like Futanu and uh, Fuaga around where Olu is. I like Fuaga more than Olu, and then I'll probably go Olu, and then I'll go Futanu. I will say I might I might agree with you on Fawaga because I think Fawaga is more complete. Yeah, like I think he's more pro ready. Versatile, versatile. Yeah. Yeah. And Jared versus more of a college. And he got bro. And he I'm gonna be honest. He was he bro when they played uh, Latu. He locked Latu. He took him out the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took him out the game. I go Fawaga. Yeah. Yeah, I like Fawaga, bro. I like Fawaga a lot. 
I really don't think you understand. You even remotely know who I got it to. That's the funny part. Uh, JPJ and Quinn Wait, let me guess. This is not team with these nine neighbors, right? I mean. We'll get there. We'll get there. Quinn Yon and JPJ. Uh, I like Quinn Yon. I'll go Quinn Yon over JPJ. Yeah, I'll go I got like JPJ like bottom tw- like 20 to 30. Hey, it's not hard, Marv. It's not hard to you? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go Quinn Yon. I don't think Brock Bowers is as good as people act like, to be honest. Yeah, well, why do you, why do you think that? Hold He's not a generational tight end prospect. The bro, the word prospect is just confusing for me because there's like I don't even like he's not gonna be I don't think he's gonna be a grunt player. He's not grunt. I don't even think he's Kittle. He's gonna be like an off brand Kittle in the league to me. He's gonna surprise me, Dan. I think he's gonna be good, but like he's still good after. I think he's gonna be good. I don't think he's gonna be like this superstar player. That's what I'm saying. I think he's a stupid player. I'm going wrong. But he, you think you think uh, Brock good enough to even be in convos with Marv? Yes, that's crazy. Uh, Rome or uh, Byron? Rome was like just the top five. You know, I got Rome at five, right, my fifth wide receiver, right? What the? Whoa! I got Rome at fifth wide receiver, bro. Whoa. I still got him over Byron Murphy. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know how Byron Murphy got picked up a lad. To be honest, that was crazy. I don't know how that got picked up. Or, or that. Who do you think? What do you think? Uh, what do you think it takes for uh Rome to be a bust? Like, who would he have to not be in the league right now? I think Rome Aduze is like uh, who does he compare to? Like, just give me a round. You don't have to compare him to a player. Like, give if he's not around this guy, I don't know. If he's not like a hey, like all right, somebody in the chat good. said. Brock Bowers would have been a top three pick if he never got hurt. Nigga could have easily come into the league as a top five tight end. I ain't gonna lie. Coming into the league as a top five tight end ain't saying shit. But to say that he would have been a top three player in this draft? I've seen a lot nowadays. How? There's more tight ends than this. Kelsey old as hell and fell off last year. Kelsey, Kittle, Sam Laporta. Kittle was bad in the playoffs. Laporta is coming up. Uh, uh, Mark Andrews, he had a down year last Mark year. Andrews, Cole Come on, bro. Uh, okay, he's better than Cole Komet. Oh, my God. Generational tight end better than Cole Komet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's better than... Hey, man. He's better than Cole Komet. Trey McBride. Oh, my God. Generational tight end better than Trey McBride. Hey, my nigga. Hey, my nigga. Hey, my nigga. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, I'm just saying, I think he's going to be good. But, like, I don't know if he's ever going to be better than Pete Kittle. Like, no, nah, bro. That's crazy. He can be. He can be. He's definitely not gonna be better than Pete Kelsey. Yeah, he might be. Ah, right, right stop there. it, bro. Stop it. Nigga. Okay, if he goes, if he goes and plays with a CJ Stroud for 10, 15 years. See, listen to what you just said, bro. They don't even have a first round pick. So you saying he falls into pick forty two? I'm just giving you an example. You got to play with somebody. Like that, that outrageous ass example. Them niggas got Stephon okay, okay. Diggs. I mean, How much help does CJ Stroud if, need, nigga? If he go plays with a Caleb Williams, okay. Bro, oh my god, how much help does that nigga need? Oh my god, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, oh my god, how much help does that nigga need? Alright, bro. Come on, bro. Them niggas picked up DeAndre Swift. Hey, bro. Nah, you could have said the. If he goes to the Chargers, he's going to hoop. I ain't going to lie. If he goes to the Chargers, he may be a top three. Try three tight end the first year in the league. I ain't gonna lie, because they don't really have nothing else outside of him. Because they got rid of Mike Evans. They are not Mike Evans, but Mike Williams and um, they did cut Mike Williams, right? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and uh, Keenan Allen got traded. That's who he need. That's who he. That's the team he need to go to. Uh, Gavin, he needs to go to the Panthers. That's who need that nigga. Oh my, they need that. He gonna ruin his ass. No, no, All no. Right, bro, this is crazy. Lot two or Caleb? Yeah, Give me lot two. I'm chilling. Give me Caleb, man. Yeah. Give me Caleb, man. Neighbors, come on, bro. Neighbors are full of neighbors, man. Neighbors. We out here getting hype over signing Jadavion Clowney while the Texans out here getting digs and mixing. 
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Mixon had actually, I think the Mixon's pickup is low key a little bit more underrated than it should be. That nigga hooped. Hold on, hold on. This is your number two right here. Yeah, Joe Al. Yeah, Joe Al is the number two. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Al is my number two. No, he's literally my number two. He's literally my number two. Yeah, he's always been top four. He's always been top four for me. Bro, I told you, bro. Like the only person I think that actually is generational that's hype, being hyped to be generational is Joe Al for me. Bro, this this five generational. That's what that's being hyped to be generational prospects. I think they all be. I, I, Which one you going, Marv or uh, Joe Alt? Because if you go Marv, you know the chat gonna go Marv. You know, you know the chat going Marv, man. Marvin Harrison, my number one player, bro. He's your number one player. Yeah, All right, chat. Which one y'all got, Marv or uh, Joe Alt? Joe, big about Joe Alt. I think he's a Hall of Fame right in the. I ain't gonna lie. I I'm gonna be honest with you. I've never seen a, a wide receiver prospect be as overrated as Marv, in my opinion. Is he overrated? Bro, they compared this nigga to Megatron, man. No, that's that's crazy though. I, I don't compare him to that. Nigga, you literally was compared to the Megatron. You literally. Was... I, 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 I seen this nigga get compared to Megatron, Devontae Adams. Like, bro, I think he's stupid good. He's top five prospects to me in his draft. But, bro, ah, uh, top five was cap. I ain't gonna top six. Oh, they said Marvin's overrated. Oh, oh, Marvin's mid. Oh, oh. Ah. Joe Alt for sure. Joe Alt at franchise oh. O line. That's what I'm talking about, chat. W chat. Y'all niggas, I will say what y'all, y'all niggas are some like intelligent people. That's very intelligent of y'all. Nah, I really thought these niggas were going to pick uh, Marv off the river. Marv is like the easy, like flashy pick. Yeah, he's Joe for sure. Like the ten, he the 10 year Hall of Fame veteran. That's why I think, bro. I think that I think the Titans have one of the more underrated off seasons, man. I really do. Well, you don't know if you don't get him yet. So, so who you going? You going Mar? Oh, they went. They went Joe Hall. It doesn't even matter. Oh, never mind. Shit, I trolled. That shit was a tie in the chat. Well, hey. No, I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I mean, it was gonna be my two or your one, so it didn't matter. Uh, Caleb or Quinn Caleb. I'm going Dallas. I don't think that's that easy for a lot of people, but for me, it's definitely easy. You already know where I'm going. That bullshit. Yeah, man. Caleb, you know what I'm saying? Pat Mahomes 2.0, Aaron Rodgers 2.0, you know, whatever you want to call it. Chicago Bears. Oh, my God. I'm going Joe up. I'm going to every single Bears game this year. If you want to come with me, anybody in the Chicago area, want to come down to the Bears again with you know, I'm really happy for you because you've been begging for Kayla for like three years now. I've been begging for like three years. I really hope he meet all the expectations you got because the Bears done went through so much. It's actually crazy. We went through hell. We went through hell and back. Oh, Quarterback hell. Sure. I need my damn Brady. I need my damn Brady. We had your Brady. My damn Brady. I need my damn Brady. All right, let's not go too far, bro. Let's not go too far. Kayla but Joe Alt, chat. With Joe. Joe, I yeah. like it, Chad. Nah, 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 nah. I think that's the last one. That's for the last one. That's the last one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, let's. That's he said one. Dallas, though. We just had Dallas. No, Joey, that's, 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 that's what I'm talking about, Chad. I explain why you like Caleb more than Joe. All right, Caleb got a high, way higher upside. Caleb is overrated. That's what I'm talking about, Chad. That's what I'm talking about. I love that. Whoa, whoa. We love those. Hold on, Caleb has way higher potential. Caleb has, can be the top five player in this draft. He can be the top five player in the NFL. Uh, he's going into a perfect situation. Like name a name a situation in a rookie quarterback. Now I will say I think Joe All has more bust potential. I don't see that. I ain't, I don't see that shit at all. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm saying he has more bust potential. I think Caleb, like, he's going to be a good quarterback. I think, got more bust potential. I I think Caleb's going to be a good quarterback. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be all right. Yeah, Caleb. Yeah, right. I think Joe Alt, like, if you, pick a, if you pick a tight end, top five picks, he has to be, like, a all-pro perennial, all-pro player. And we've yeah. seen number one quarterbacks go get picked and be horrible. 
Oh, no. Nah, you can't do that with Caleb. Caleb, yeah, nah, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to help you. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. <laughs> they tried to say this nigga the best quarterback since Andrew Luck. They did. I think I've seen somebody I'm talking to say he's better than Andrew Luck as a prospect. So. Yeah, yeah, I ain't going to lie. Nah, bro. <laughs> Caleb definitely has the higher bus percent. No, there's no there's no debate there, gang. There's no debate here. There's no debate. Who's going into a better situation? Nigga, Joe Alt is going to a situation where he has the franchise quarterback. They don't have a franchise running back, but they have Tony, they have Tony Pollard and Tajay Spears. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will Levis is a franchise quarterback? What I think that's going to be their franchise quarterback. Yeah, for sure. Bro, he's going to be... Okay, uh, uh, huh? Come on. No, I'm saying, like, I think he's going to be much better next year. Like, the scheme, he's going to have a scheme. He's going to have a much better offensive scheme, much better weapons. Huh? I gotta see it first. I, I mean, see I can see why you say that, but I think I'm saying what I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying what I'm saying, bro. Like, you got, it's tougher to be in a tough situation as an offensive tackle than a quarterback. It's like a, a lot easier for a quarterback to be in a bad situation compared to a tackle. But I think Caleb is in a good situation. situation. I think they're both going into, like, pretty good situation for top 10 picks. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, TDB. I'm not gonna lie. It's more okay, likely for Williams and Caleb to be a bust than it is for Joel. Niggas are comparing okay, this nigga okay. to A-Rod and Pat Mahomes, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. There's nobody doing anything seen, remotely close I'll to that for Joel. Let me say something. I've seen niggas compare Joel to Joe Thomas, so what you saying? What you saying, bro? Yeah. I ain't mad at it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mad at it. But I ain't gonna lie. That's not... We love Joe Thomas around here. Very underrated career. But come on, bro. That's not A Rod and Mahomes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Niggas ain't putting A this niggas is not putting Joe Thomas over A Rod and Mahomes all the time. Right, let me put like this. 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 Alright, if Joe all win the Super Bowl, who cares, right? If Caleb wins the Super Bowl, like come on, bro. Like, like that's a story. But that's like you don't put that shit in like movies and shit, bro. Like you wanna Eli won two Super Bowls against the best player of all time. That shit yeah, is not going in movies. Nah, see, it's different though. Like, Kittle, Kittle, Eli was a super, bro. Eli was a super hyped prospect. Man, it's Chicago, man. Nobody cares about New York. It's Chicago. All right. Like, Nobody it's cares about the biggest yeah, media city in the yeah, world. Oh my there. God, this yeah, nigga's crazy. Yeah, now I think I think Joe Al is gonna be like a, he's gonna be like a Zach Martin caliber tackle. Like whatever Zach Martin, however good you think Zach Martin was at guard in his peak and prime, that's how I think of Joe Al. If he's not that, I would be pretty upset. I don't think that means he's a bust. I think he would be a bust. I would think he'd be a bust if he's more like, what's the tackle from um, what's the tackle from the Eagles? The left tackle, not the, not not Lane Johnson, not Lane Johnson. The other one, the other side. If he's not as good as Mylotta, I think that's his name. I think that would be a bust for Joel. So he gotta be like a like a tier type tackle for you. He has to be a perennial All Pro. Uh, he's not gonna be that. Caleb is gonna be a perennial All Pro, best quarterback in the NFL. I, if, I, I would be very surprised if, if Caleb Chicago. makes five All Pros in his career, I would be highly think surprised. Think about it. Think about it. He's gonna save Chicago, bro. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, he's gonna save Chicago. He's gonna save us. You telling mm. me Joe Alt? Like, come on, bro. I don't think Joe Alt is saving a franchise. He's a tackle. Yeah, Caleb is gonna save the Bears from. I don't think I don't think the Bears are even in a situation to be safe from one player. They have a really good team. No matter who gets picked at quarterback, they would be going into a good team. Maybe I ain't gonna lie. If Caleb would have went into the Justin Fields situation and he would have been crazy good, that's saving him. That's saving them. Anyone can save Chicago once they take all the guns from a little ass kid. Wow. Wow. Alright. Hey, chat. Y'all got Joe Alt, right? No, no, bro, 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 Caleb, bro, come on, bro. I got Joel. Joel was my wow. second. Who you think is my fourth prospect? Since you think I'm biased. Caleb. Okay, yeah, it was Caleb. Caleb's my fourth prospect. Man, Caleb is better than Joel. Joel is not. Nigga, Caleb. nah, that's the thing. That's what I was trying to say, Z. When I was trying, oh, I was, but I was gonna cap, bro. It doesn't matter if he's the best quarterback in Bears history, because it's the way he was hyped up. It doesn't take much, bro. Joe, bro, I'm not going to lie. I, I was going to say, I'm not going to lie. Justin Fields is arguably the best quarterback in Bears history. So it's not saying much, bro. Bro, he's top five easily. 
It's not debatable. Yeah, he's not debatable. He's top five. I'm not saying much. I'm not saying that's much. what I'm saying. It's not saying much, bro, to be the best quarterback in Bears history. Like, that's he's the thing. Be the best quarterback. He's going to win the Super Bowl. He's going to be a top five quarterback in the league. Come on. No, nah, but he's saying it's harder for Caleb to be a bust because he could be you know mid. He, no, on, this is what I'm saying. He's saying that he won't be a bust because Caleb could be mid and dead ass have the, be the best quarterback season of all time. This is how we can settle it. This is how we can settle it. It's like how the guy in the chat said. He had quarterback. Uh, it's more important than O-line. That's what we said, right? Yes, quarterback is way more valuable. Four. Way more valuable. Way more valuable. Yeah. Caleb is number four. He's number two. Caleb is the pick. Clearly. No, I think, no, I, this, you're not understanding it. Well, Nick, I, 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 when I, I do my big board, board I, 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 listen, listen, clearly. Listen, clearly. listen, 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 listen. When I do my big board in terms of prospects, I do all that value shit goes into it. That's why May is at the top. If value had nothing to do with it, Dallas Turner and and Alt would be the top two prospects. If value had nothing to do with it, those would be the top two prospects. Literally. I, my, but the thing is, when you put value into it, that's what makes it close. That's literally all that makes it close. Bro, if bro, I think Joe Alt is so much better of a prospect than um even Dallas. Dallas is at a position that I have more value in than a tackle. But he's so much better of a prospect. I, I like it's out of all these guys, I think it's really tough for Joe Alt to be a bust. It's really tough. It's yeah, really yeah. tough. Like honestly, it's yeah, really yeah. tough. Yeah, it's a grown man's game. Some so. niggas can't make it. Some niggas sink or some niggas swim. He might sink, he might swim. Caleb is the more important quarterback. <laughs> uh, he's gonna save Chicago. Uh, more talent than Joe Alt ever had in his life. Okay, let me give you let me give you a perfect uh, example, TJV. Let me give you a perfect example. Yeah. Okay, so if if Caleb, so who who do you think would be a bigger deal, Caleb Williams going to the Bears, or Joe Alt going to the 49ers? Caleb going to the Bears for sure. Come on, bro. See, that's how I know. This is how I know we chat, chat. There's no way you're trying to tell me if Joe Alt goes to the 49ers, that's not way more impactful. You're not telling me that. You didn't say that. You said you changed it up. You said what's the bigger deal? That's what I. That's what I meant by bigger deal. But I don't. That's still the same thing in my opinion. I still don't know if that's. Even Joe, oh, I mean, bro, bro. Only thing the 49ers need on offense for real is an offensive lineman. Bad. They need yeah, it bad. Yeah, I mean, them niggas got damn near everything they still can't win. Nah, they need stuff on right. defense too. You know what I'm saying? Like they got damn near the most complete team in the in the NFL. That's why they can never win. Guess guess who they keep running into? Guess who they keep running into? Number to fifteen. With this they current with this current construction, they only ran to Mahomes once. To be fair. I'm just saying. That tells you how important the quarterback position is. And you see that Caleb is, I mean, we don't know what he is yet, but he's being projected as the best quarterback prospect to ever live. That's a good point, David. They was just in the Super Bowl right out huh? Yeah, they were just in the Super Bowl. But they lost a lot of guys this offseason, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Caleb, man. I I, I think it's Caleb. I think it got to be Caleb. It don't matter. The chat, the, the chat, ooh, it's, it's, it's flip 50-50. Ah. 50, 50, bro. I mean, all right, more... I all right, all right, all right. So where you got? All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I got, I got Caleb at four. You got, I got Joel at two. Where you got Caleb at, and where you got Joel? I have Caleb number one. Or excuse me, number two. Use for the cap. Uh, yeah, my bad. I have Caleb number two. I have Joel. I think number five. Okay, we'll go Caleb then. We'll just do it based off the yeah. positional average. I don't. Yeah. Thank you. I okay. appreciate it. Neighbors of Dallas Turner. I'm going Dallas Turner. Are you going to turn out the neighbors? Yeah, I got Turner at three. I just told you my top four people. I got neighbors at five. Hey, chat, what y'all got then, chat? I do. Wait, wait. I pick. I go chat. I go Dallas Turner because I do value eggs. I don't. I think neighbors are better players. No, no. It's just like on your big boy who you had higher, bro. Yeah, I got neighbors higher. Yeah, I got Dallas Turner higher. <clears throat> Let's go, chat. What you got, chat? Marvin is out. He got put out by uh all. <laughs> he said, "Where to is Marvin?" Marvin, if you're talking about my big boy, he like. Bro, my my six to like ten is damn near all wide receivers. I ain't gonna lie, they're damn near all wide receivers. I'm trying to think. They're damn near all. Latu's in there, and then it's like all wide receivers. Giddy Dallas. Latu, maybe Fuaga may make the 10th. He may make top 10. Dallas. 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 
Okay, yeah, Dallas. Yeah, we'll go Dallas. Dallas is more important position than the Warriors. Yeah. I'll give me Caleb. I got Dallas. I, I got Caleb. I got Dallas. I got, I, got I got Dallas. I don't know what to tell you, but I got <laughs> Dallas. Like, literally, it's just going to come right back to this Bro. again. I, I, I've been saying it. You can't say I'm making it up on the fly. I've been saying it. I had him at three. I had all at two. I had May at one. Like, I don't know what to I had four. Caleb was at four. Neighbors was at five. I'm not hating, bro. I'm not hating. You think there's three niggas better than Caleb in the draft? Four? Oh, yeah, three. Yeah. Bro, Dallas Turner, who I think is yeah, off-brand Micah. Joe Alt, who is a gen- – I think Joe Alt is the only generational prospect in the draft. That's crazy, that's crazy to me. I don't even know if Dallas is even the best edge of this draft. I don't even know. I'm not convinced. Nah, I told you. I told you. I think Um, I think, I think. think it's closer between Latu – Dallas. Yeah, so I, I, can't, I can't have Dallas over Caleb. When I'm not but when I'm doing a draft, I'm not basing it off the floor. I'm basing it off the upside. I know what I'm saying. Like, I'm convinced that Caleb is the best quarterback. I'm not convinced that Dallas is the best quarterback. That's my thing. I'm not even I don't have another. I don't, not, I don't have another. I have Latu in the top 10, but he's like, I think Latu's like 8 or 9. He's after Marv. So I don't know where Marv is for sure. He's like 8 or 9. It depends on where I got Brian Thomas, to be honest. Yeah. That's what's really throwing no way, me off. Hold on. Ain't no way Dallas Turner finna win this shit, bro. I ain't finna allow it. Bro, Dallas Turner is a monster, bro. I've been trying to push this since the bro, first too, mock draft, he's bro. Too, he's too raw to be the best player in this draft. I can, I can agree with that, but I ain't gonna lie. Caleb is a lot. I ain't gonna lie, TJB. They're raw. They're raw. Caleb got... Bro, the thing about Caleb is he's his raw talent. That's what really people... Like, his upside is crazy because his raw talent. His raw he's throwing raw, ability. Bro. His raw ability. What's raw? What's Come on, bro. Man? He don't have a lot of fundamentals. Caleb don't play with a lot of fundamentals, man. Come on, bro. Let's be for real here, bro. He don't play with a lot of fundamentals, TDB. Come on, bro. He does. What, 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 what do you not play with? He don't like throwing from the pocket. He don't like throwing he does. things. He literally said he does. He said he couldn't. That PC ass answer. But he didn't even do it when he played. Why he didn't do it when he played? Did you watch the tape? Yes, I watched the tape. Yes, I watched the tape. You see how bad his own line is? Do you watch bro, his O-line not worse than May, bro. You, see, you don't give May that same see. excuse, bro. You don't give May that same excuse. Yo, May makes dumbass choices. And Caleb I'm saying, I'm not, I never said May doesn't. I think Caleb makes dumbass choices, too. Not you would never say, choices. does Caleb make dumbass choices? Sometimes. Oh, my God. This, bro, listen to this shit. Bro, listen to this shit, bro. Like, what if I listen to? Like, bro. Like, bro. Bro, like, Caleb. Caleb, did you watch Latu play against USC? Like it was free, it was free cash. I'm not free saying cash. Latu is gonna do that to like, majority of teams in college, though, bro. That's not, not Oregon. Went to Oregon State. He didn't do it to Oregon State. Got locked up. Cause come on, Caleb bro. That's had, Caleb, bro, Caleb, come Caleb, on. Caleb had no time to throw. He had no time to throw, so he has to play out of structure. That's what happens when you have a horrible O line and horrible receivers. Horrible, terrible. Okay, I can get that. If, that. But the thing is, the thing, the only thing I'll say, TDB. If you're if you know your O line's terrible, quote unquote, mm-hmm. why yeah. are you not taking the dump off? Why are you not taking the underneath? Why are you not taking the intermediate? Why do you have to go for the big play every Chris, time? I think, uh, Chris Sims explained this perfectly. He would get on the field and he would see the score. And they'll be down seven to seven to fourteen points, and he felt like he had to play hero ball because he wasn't convinced that the defense can hold the other team from scoring, and he had, he felt like he had to keep up the score. That's why he played hero ball. In Chicago, he's not gonna have to do so that. So you can't. He's so what? Okay, okay. So you say, okay, you say that for yeah. Caleb Williams, but you don't say that for Drake May. Drake May, I don't know much about Drake May. I don't think he had nearly oh as bad God, as the defense. Bro. His offense, as as his offense outside of him was significantly worse. His defense was literally just as bad, know. bro. He just played in the worst Caleb, offense of conference. Caleb, Caleb, Caleb's defense was, was ranked 136, I believe, out of 150 something schools. That is terrible. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, TDB. There's multiple times in the game where I'm gonna be honest. If I'm Caleb, I ain't gonna lie. If you're talking about decision making consistently, if you wanna say he makes some bad decisions, if you say his pass, his offensive line is bad, if he bailing out of clean pockets multiple times in games, if he's supposedly have such, if he wants to be on the field and win games and score touchdowns, you would think that he wants to move the chains consistently. Like, bro, yeah. like. Like, going for the big like play doesn't work in the ball. NFL, bro. It he doesn't work. Like that, if he brings that trait to the NFL, that's, that's going a... To be that's going to be taught to him. It's going to be taught that you don't have to take the okay. ball play. Name the guys that, that was able to get that taken out of them. Name the guys. Patrick Mahomes. 
Mahomes. Bro, Patrick Mahomes literally would literally just throw the ball down the field. If you ever watch him play, let's get it up. He, he throws the ball down the field. He just tries to go for the big shot every single time in college. He comes to he comes down to Kansas City with Andy Reid. He teaches him how to slow, slow slow it down a little bit, playing structure, and now he's the best quarterback in the NFL. Same okay. thing with Caleb. Just comes. Okay, no, no, can I go yet? Can I go yet for Patrick on that Pat Mahomes part? Can go I go? Ahead, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Okay. Okay, is yeah. Caleb is Caleb Williams gonna sit a whole year in the NFL? He's gonna sit this whole rookie year. Okay, he's not gonna sit down his rookie year. Is he coming into the league with arguably the best offensive mind of all time? Say that one more time. Is Caleb coming into the league playing with the best offensive mind, arguably of all time? No. That's all I had to ask. That's all I had to ask. Uh, Those are. He, you can't tell me those two things are not important, huge things for Patrick Mahomes' it's development. Important. It's important, but the way Ryan Post has structured this team made it so easy for Caleb to be able to settle, settle down and be able to play good quarterback. You got you got nothing but good receivers, good O line, not not the best, but decent O line, good tight ends, good running back. This is a perfect situation for a quarterback that's a rookie. Okay, who had a better situation, him or uh, Mahomes, coming into the league? Uh, are you talking about team wise or coaching wise? Everything. But that's hard to say because it, it depends how much you value coach. If you talking about, I think he, I think Caleb has a better team, but not better coaching. So I my home situation was so wild. He actually was able to sit a full year. Yeah, because he had Alex Smith. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but we don't have that luxury. So. Was Alex Smith better than Patrick Mahomes at that point? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know how good he was when he was a rookie. I mean, he could have been asked when he was a rookie. So, I don't know. So you think Mahomes, he made that. How many, okay, how many years do you think it took Mahomes to start stop playing so hero ball? How many years? Uh, I don't know because he was playing hero ball his rookie year. The past two years is the only years he hasn't played hero ball. The past two years. Mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Literally, the past two years is when he stopped. When they when they became a more defensive oriented team, you can literally look at depth of target. Go look at the depth of target the years before that. In the the past two years, well, it's a complete Tyree difference. Hill, as soon as he Hill lost Tyreek Hill, he stopped doing it. Of course, of course. When you lose Tyreek Hill, of course your depth of target. He still had you fast know? wide receivers. He had Miko Hardman. He had MVS. Yeah, he still had fast was, ass wide right receivers last man. year until the end of the season. Fucking MVS is ass. Why would I throw the ball to MVS? Fucking what else? We, what else you said? I said Miko Hardman. You said a whole Harvard. lot of ass. You said a whole lot of ass, motherfuckers. So you think it? it you think him making better decisions <laughs> at all to do with just Tyreek leaving? I mean the depth of target. Yeah, I mean when you have a guy that's literally like faster than anybody else on the field, of course the depth of target gonna go down when he leaves. I mean he's the best player on the field. Why would you not throw the ball to him? Okay. Why would you not? Why would you not? I, said, I, I, can't, you know I, mean? I can't really argue that. I ain't gonna lie. I would just only say that it was in the year before Tyreek left. Tyreek missed like four games that year. I don't remember what he did though them games, but I can see what you're trying to say with that. That makes sense. That makes more sense than anything else. But the only thing I would say about Dallas Turner is he can play multiple positions. That'll be my only thing. But yeah, I, I, I got Dallas turned over at Caleb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. I got Dallas over Caleb. I don't really, I don't really even understand why you even trying to compare those two situations. I don't think they're comparable players. Personally, I just, I just think, I just think Caleb has way, way more upside. Based on my he's expectations, right if now. Caleb, if Caleb is not Kyler Murray, I would think he's probably more of a bust. I ain't gonna lie. And I think his floor is Kyler Murray. Shit. I yeah. think, I think, I think he, if he's not Kyler Murray, Trevor Lawrence area, he's a bust. He'll be it. That's his floor. He'll be Aaron Rodgers probably. I mean, nigga, if you you do realize that's what a bust is. If they don't reach even their floor, they're a bust, bro. He's gonna reach that. He's already better than. I'm Kyle talking about Murray. based on the way you say a floor is. I ain't gonna lie. You be already better. Than, all right, hey, tell, hey, tell, tell, tell the world what you think his 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 peak, his middle, and his floor is. Tell the world. His peak is Patrick Mahomes. His middle is. Hold on, hold on. Let's not go too far past that. Okay, say it slow. Who is his peak? His peak is Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Middle is Aaron Rodgers. Middle. All right, guys. His peak is Patrick oh, Mahomes. Right. Middle is Aaron Rodgers. Bears fans everywhere out there. That's his middle. Yep. Okay. Yep. What's his floor? Floor is Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. That's yeah. his. That's his. That's I mean, I'm sorry. Listen, are y'all going? Are y'all going to say say I'm crazy because I, I have C D B. Caleb has bro. How the fuck is he not your number one prospect? 
Do you, you hear love, what you just said? I love Marvin. Ask me, ask me the same question with Marvin Harrison. I tell you why then. Okay, yeah. Marvin, number one. What is his? What is his peak? Calvin Johnson, uh, middle. Age Calvin, age. hold on, hold on. Pause, uh, pause, pause, pause. Calvin Johnson is better than fucking Patrick Mahomes. No. AJ Green's better than A Rod. It's it's Kevin John uh, Kevin Johnson not the freakiest nigga of all time to ever play. Uh, yes, but he's not better than Patrick Mahomes all time. He's not. It's not about who's better, man. It's not about That's what a box board my that's what a big board is. Who's better? Man, I just love me some Marvin Harrison, bro. I'm sorry, bro. So you don't even actually have him at one, nigga. What am I listening to? I mean, I, I, okay, AJ Green or A Rod. AJ Green or A Rod. AJ Green or A Rod. Man, you can't compare receivers. Nigga, is A Rod even worse than Megatron? Hold on, what are we talking about here? This is unfair. This is unfair. This is unfair. No, it's not. This was you. All right, what's his what's his floor? What's his floor? This is unfair. Floor? Uh, D Hop. Oh my fuck. Hey, these niggas all, bro, they all played at the same time. By the way, Megatron, D Hop, and AJ Green, then they're all played at the same time, nigga. All right, bro. Hey, you might be right. Kid might be my number one. Yeah, he ha bro. He has to be your number one. You literally just said this nigga is middle is a rod. The most talented quarterback of all time is his middle. Let me let me change my big board. Yeah, change that shit, bro. What the hell? So you hey, so Bears should be picking Marv if they if they had a quarterback. If we had a quarterback, yeah. But we don't have a quarterback. Okay. All right. I would love for us to trade up, though. All right, we can go, Caleb. Yeah. That's what that's what people gonna want. That's what people gonna want. Let's that's go. What gonna want, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. That's you convinced me with that A Rod logic. Let's hey, go. if go that's go. his middle, if go. that's his middle chat, <laughs> I Dallas turn. I think his peak is off brand Micah. That's not competing with even his floor, nigga. Like what the fuck? I don't know what's going on. That was a good ooh. That was a good ooh, that was a good ooh man. All right, let's that do this mock draft good. chat. Hey, chat, that's man. That's 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 how did y'all feel about that, man? I, I I don't know how I felt about that chat. That was very I interesting. That. I love that shit. I love that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about JD got put out first round. Middle That's prime good. Russ. I'm not mad at that, Z. I'm not mad at that. Middle yeah, prime Russ. Hey, that yeah, makes more that. sense, DJB. I'm not going to lie. Middle prime Russ. Yep. That makes way more yeah, sense. Nah, 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 nah. Do you not remember how good prime Russ was? Yep. That nigga was getting like 35 touchdowns, three picks. Aaron Rodgers, dots too. Like these are super dots. You couldn't keep them in the hey, pocket. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all can call me crazy now. I don't give a fuck. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. TDB, no six. one's gonna it's ever see a quarterback that's that. What did you just say? No one's you. ever gonna I'm see gonna that, that quarterback that you just did a build a bear with. No one's ever seen that. That shit is a fictional playground. That's Caleb, that's, that's Caleb right there, baby. Prime Russ is actually more accurate. I like Prime Russ, Kyler. Prime, so, Prime so Russ is more I'm like his peak, bro. I don't know why he's I'm so that. confident. I'm so confident in Caleb, man. I ain't got no worries, bro. I ain't got no worries. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!